Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and a new video. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of uh, how to get started with Battlesnake. So by the way, we are running a December long challenge and uh, previously I made a video on providing mentorship to a few lucky students. Well, this event is a little bit about that. So I'll be selecting a person and I will be personally mentoring them, uh, you know, uh, for their like journey if you like you want to get started and you know let's say you want to get a remote job you want to get started with open source so initially i will help you out or for example you want to let's say get started with building your own youtube channel so from scratch i will help you in order to get started so if you want to win this opportunity you have to take part in the battle sneak event that we are running by the way we are running two events right now in december and we will be also be running a hackathon later on so make sure you check out the events repository for we make devs the link can be found in the description below so as you can see there's a battle snake december tournament uh, so this is everything that you need to know how to take part and uh, the resources and the prizes cheaper personalized complete mentorship uh, career counseling by me and some exclusive swag and some reward codes and everything so you can take part in this in this video i will share like step by step how to sign up how to build your snake and in the future, we'll be also optimizing our snake, how to take part in the leaderboard. So this is being streaming live. So you can uh, even, you know, open up your computer and do it live with me. Right. So all you need is an Internet connection because we will be using Replit. So you don't even need to install anything on your computer. You can get started like that. So what I would recommend you to do is follow step by step whatever I'm doing. And the other event we also are running is Hashnode Blogging Challenges. If you want to win cool keyboards like these, these are very premium keyboards, like 10, 20,000 rupees keyboards. Uh, we gave away plenty of these in the past. So as you can see, here we gave away Keychrons uh, to Abby. Uh, so we are giving away another keyboard, another Keychron this month. And we're collaborating with Eddie Hub. So you can, uh, you know, check out this readme file, write a blog on Hashnode and how to take part and everything is given over here so make sure you take part and get a chance to win some amazing swag and keyboards and uh, one more thing uh, the announcement video for the battle snake tournament is given in the description below so make sure you check it out as well you can also find it in my channel's announcement playlist let's get started okay so about this challenge uh, what is battle snake how to take part how to build your snake you don't know let's say anything this video is for you. Let's follow it step by step with me live. So it's basically a multiplayer game. You know, in uh, when we were in uh, when we were kids, we used to play the snake game, something like this in Nokia phones. So the idea with Battle Snake is that you will build this snake. And people often ask me, Kunal, what is a real world approach to practice data structures and algorithms? Battle Snake is one of the amazing ways because compare programming is, uh, I believe, personally to me, is boring, right? So here you can see that uh, there was a why developers love playing Battle Snake. Someone said computer programming sucks. Actually, CS term computer programming. I went to a few competitions and it was just boring in comparison with Battlesnake. Battlesnake is a lot more fun. You learn about, let's say, what do you do in data structure algorithms? What do you do? You do recursion, you do backtracking, you do graph algorithms, you do traversals and things like that. All of these things you can apply in Battlesnake. And you will be able to see it in action. You will be able to compete with other people. So 100% recommend you to get started with it. Even if you're just starting out, you're just a beginner, then also you can get started with it. I will show you some example codes as well. Okay, I will walk you through hand by hand, step by step in this video. So make sure you follow along. And uh, the way it works is that uh, there's the Battlesnake API. You will communicate with it and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about setting up your server or anything because we will use Replit. So Replit does everything for us. Okay, um, the first point I would like to, to go to is the Battlesnake docs. Okay, so here you can check out game info, the rules, playing Battlesnake, some of the developer tips and customizing your snake, for example. So developers of all skill levels can use the Battlesnake technologies, improve their programming skills and have fun while doing so. And you can see it's like a survival game. There are various modes like challenges, battlegrounds and league tournaments. So we are running battlegrounds. So in the battlegrounds, we are running, uh, these are monthly challenge, monthly changes and stuff. So in order to take part, you just have to add your snake to a battleground. We will get started with that later. Do not worry about it. And there's a uh, battleground for we make devs as well, which is our community, rebranded from community classroom. You can check out some of the starter projects over here. See, Python, Golang, Rust. So if you check out Python, no problem. The documentation, everything is given over here. These are the... This is a Python starter project. How cool is that? 
You want to check out another starter project? You can check out in JavaScript also, no problem. JavaScript starter project. So you will basically communicate with the Battlesnake API and you will tell Battles so Battlesnake API is going to be like, hey Kunal, your uh, snake, uh, let's say if we talk about uh, the documentation, the API, the get request, let's say for example, this is just setting the color and the author and the head and tail and all these other things. Basically, very simple stuff. If we talk about start, your Battlesnake receives this request when you enter a new game. So a post request would be received. A post request would be received. Don't worry about all these slash and stuff. You'll be like, Kunal, we don't know about web development. How are we going to set up these requests? How are we going to create your own server? So two points. If you already know about some development and stuff, you can go ahead with it and you can create your own server and you know deploy it on cloud or whatever. If you don't know about it, do not worry. I will just show you in one click how you can set it, set it up. Okay, in this video. And let's say you want to tell Battlesnake API, hey Battlesnake, uh, please move my snake left, right, up or down or something like that. Okay, so you can say move up, moving up, right? This is the request that is sent for every turn of the game. So you will tell it up, down, left or right. Up, down, left or right. Okay, cool. So you can check out the game and uh, the rule sets and everything. So all the API stuff is given over here. No problem. But let's say you're a beginner, you don't even know what an API is, for example, then we can just get started with the starter project. So you go to starter projects. Okay, so you go to, let's say we go to, I, I will show you again from start. You went to the docs, you went to starter projects. And then we click on Python, for example. So now when we click on Python, I can just say, run on Replit. So by the way, you can sign up to Replit. You can check out the link in the description below to sign up to Replit. Okay. So here we have our starter snake python. Use template. Starter snake python live stream demo. Use template. That's it. That's it. Now it will give you a particular URL that you can add to Battlesnake. Run it. So you can run it on your local system as well, if you want. Or you can run it on Replit as well. Okay, so here we have it. This URL you will get. This URL you will get. Your snake is running. How cool is that? Your snake is running. Now you can modify this code if you want. Okay, so this move function is what you have to modify in order to like here you can apply all the algorithms and all sorts of things. How cool is that? We will do that in another like in the future. But for now, let's focus on how to get started with the game. Okay, so far we have done nothing. I have literally done nothing. I have just clicked on run on Replit. Did I do anything else? No. But if you're a little bit professional developer, then you can do it on your own local system, clone it or, you know, start your own project from scratch or whatever, go through the documentation. We, for, let's say for beginners, I'm doing this stream. So I did nothing. I just run it on Replit. Just click this button. That's what we have done so far. That is it. And you want to sign up to Replit? Check out the link in the description below. You will get some, uh, you know, uh, benefits as well if you use the link in the description below because that's specific to me. So use that link. Okay, that's fine. Step number one is done. Create account or login. You can create your account. And you can just sign up. Okay, it will ask you to sign up if I go to play.battlesnake.com. Create account. You can just use your GitHub. So click sign up with GitHub and you don't even have to enter all these things. So you can just sign up with GitHub. Okay, what I'm going to do now is we are signed up. We are we have our own like, like uh, we have the, you know, uh, dashboard over here. Let me explain to you what all these things are about. So obviously this is very self-explanatory. You can set up your profile, you can add a bio about, you can add some profile picture or whatever, uh, where you are from and all these other things. The next thing I want you to do is, before we move forward with all the other things, like what all these things are, create a battle snake. Either click on this link or this red link over here. Create, build a battle snake. Build a battle snake. Two ways you can do it. Two ways we can do it. You can either use a, use a preset. Click on, let's say we, we talk about the preset, for example. So you can give it my 
first preset and strategy i want it to be a hungry snake for example it will have its own strategy i can choose some uh, head or tail for this snake color is fine for a live stream allow anyone to add this battle snake to their game means if someone is running uh, if, if someone wants to compete with your battle snake uh, publicly they can do it save it done your snake is created how easy is this how easy is this you can do it right now while you are watching this okay and take part in the challenge so that's one way other way to build a battle snake is build from scratch build from scratch from scratch here you will basically add this url there you go you can use a region if you want mumbai no problem description for a live stream i can add or something you can add something like or i can just use replate or uh, for a live stream or whatever make sure yours is like uh, relevant let's say i can give a tag called replate okay and open source project if it's open source then you can add a github link as well by the way if you are having your own snake i would recommend like you know forking it or something or but if if it's not like if you're not a really big professional or whatever then you can just have it like over here okay sounds good so if you can add uh, you can add also the link to your public uh, repository okay you can add a link to this public repository as well So if you publish it, you get a public repository or URL. That's up to you. I'll leave it empty. Save. We are done. We are done. Two ways I which why I which I showed you how to build a battle snake, and it was like this. Like this, you were able to build two battle snakes. So you can use the pre-built ones, or you can do from scratch. from scratch also you can either do from replit if you're a beginner or if you want to set up your own server and everything which is i believe a lot more fun if you're a professional developer then you can do it as well no problem use any cloud you want you see wo check out the links in the description below right um okay so so far we have done nothing i know it sounds a lot but did we really do anything no i just clicked some buttons and it did automatically everything for me right now step number 2 i want you to go to challenges okay so there are some challenges some training programs like avoid the walls you can avoid yourself means the snake should not you know collide in itself avoid other battle snakes find some food like your snake should be able to find the food now we like kunal how are we getting this information about where the food is and uh, where our current position is when we are going up how do we know we are over here battle snake will tell you that battle snake will be like hey kunal you are over here you know when we are talking it's all the game of apis then you will give it a request like well, okay move up move down that's how it works and how it's working you can check out in this code sample over here okay so you can see in a dictionary it's giving me the game state it's giving me the game state so your head and your neck is available over here using that it's giving you information you're like okay where is my head and head and tail or something my head and neck okay now i can move move up and down or left or right what is safe what is not safe okay so don't worry much about it let's focus on first working on the first setting it up and actually entering the battle ground let's focus on that first then we will explain you know what this code is about and everything okay so i have already done this but you can do retry challenge uh let's say we do the uh the one that i just did which is my first preset okay this is the one that i just created you know that i just made so it's going to do it and this is how my snake is running <laughs> no worries and when it shows challenge passed it will give me a nice little it says that survive 100 turns without moving away from the board okay that a challenge completed this way you have to complete these four challenges and you can do it because your snakes are good because you used the starter snake so they already avoid all these challenges okay once you have completed all the challenges which is just fine just to complete 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 
Okay, after that, click on battlegrounds, go to dashboard. Here are a few battlegrounds and you have to scroll down to the devs make snake battleground. This is the battleground that we have. This is the battleground that we have. And here it will give you an option to add your battle snake. Since I have added Python Heroku modified, you have to add your own snake. So you can see, choose battle snake. When you click on this plus icon, you can then choose your battle snake and add it. Okay, I have already added over here. So when you click add battle snake, select your snake, it will add it over here. Done, that's it, that's how you take part. So far, if we go to battlegrounds and we go to devs make snake, we have like 19 people. We have only 19 people, but you can take part in it and uh, you can just sign up and just you know, create your snake just like that. Get in the battleground and then what will happen is it will run games automatically. You don't have to do anything. Okay, just add your snake and sit back and relax. It will run the games in the background automatically and you can then play, you can see those games and how it worked. So for me, my snake played in 481 games and the winning rate was like I won 16 of those. I won 16 of those. So these are the games. Let's say I lost all these, you know, and let's say which one I lost. Let's say I want to see the replay of this one. So this is the one that I lost. Okay. Sounds good. What you can do is, if you end up winning something, because I did win like uh, around uh, 16 games I won, right? And if I check the history, you can see the winning history and everything. So what you can do is that uh, you can share this game as well. Or you can view the GIF. Okay. This is what I recommend doing. This is fun. And if you're taking part in this event, if you're following the live stream right now, then after that, you would have done some challenges and you would have had your like, uh, you know, uh, games created. It's exporting it right now, as you can see. So you can just save this to downloads, share it on Twitter, just copy it and drag it on Twitter and tag Battlesnake and uh, tag VMake Devs and share about what you're learning and all the algorithms you're using and how excited you are to take part. Do that right now. Okay. We want to see that. So for example, if you did the challenges, then you can uh, check out, uh, you know, if you did any challenges then you can also get the GIF of the challenges also. You can get this GIF, save it, tweet about it, share it on Battlesnake. By the way, you should also join the Battlesnake server if you have any questions. You can ask over there. There's a Battlegrounds channel over there, so you can ask your questions over there. Okay, that's basically about it. This is more than enough for you to get started. More than enough. Now, what I would recommend you to do is, now the other thing is only, you have added your snake in the Battleground. Now, the only thing is, Modify this code and make your snake more optimized. That is the next thing. Modify your code and make your snake more optimized. For that, I recommend checking out community starter projects. For example, you want to do machine learning or something, then I'd recommend checking that out and, and stuff like that. You want to check out Java? No, per no problem. This is a battle snake in Java. You can also run this on Replit. If you want to do it in Java, here you go. Okay, Quarkus is here as well. I know Max. Nice. Max, uh, it is a Max's project. So I, I was a GSOC, Google Summer of Code mentor in Quarkus. Uh, very nice, very cool. So you can see all the community members have added their own. And if you build, up, uh, build, build a great snake, you can also add in your uh, particular snake over here. Right? Sounds good. All right, so you can edit it in Python, you can do it in JavaScript also or whatever you like, or Java or Julia or any language that you want, PHP or TypeScript, Ruby, Rust, Node, whatever you like. Cool. Let's do that. Do this much and then we will get started with a little bit more. We will learn a little bit more about this code. We will learn a little bit more about how to optimize, how to use all the algorithms and everything, but at least do this much. And, uh, you know, what I want you to do is at least do this much and uh, you can take a screenshot of this. You can share it on socials, share how excited you are to take part and uh, join the leaderboard, uh, the one that I just showed you, the battlegrounds dashboard. You go to you, you go to devs make snake. You can add your snake over there like this. Choose battle snake and then you can choose your battle snake and add it. And that's it. It will run games automatically on its own. Lastly, what I just wanted to do is the 
you know the github repo that is in the description the events repo please check this out it has all the information all the links and everything okay so discord link for the battle snake discord where you can join and ask your questions introduce yourself in the battlegrounds channel do that the prizes are amazing trust me i will help you personally one one on one mentorship and all the things that i promised in the previous video we're going to do that and you can check out the we make devs instagram and stuff there you can find the screenshots of people who, with whom we have already done these things before like career mentorship sessions but this is not just a career mentorship session it's like a counseling a step by step you know if you want to get started with your own youtube channel from zero to scaling it i will help you out i will tell you all the tips and tricks and form it for you like help you out and you know guide you and uh, you know tell you all about it how to grow and tips and tricks and you know the monetization part and all these other things i will help you personally so i'm really excited for this one so if you want to get that opportunity all you have to do is just sign up and take a part in the battlegrounds that's basically about it thanks a lot for uh, watching and uh, looking forward to seeing your tweets i'm looking forward to seeing you in the battlegrounds let's have a nice uh, amazing december and if you have any questions there's the battle snake discord channel so you can ask your questions over there we will see you in the next one have a great day bye